Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Ripple demands the SEC reveal if their employees owned and traded XRP and Ether. So were their employees trading XRP? Because I mean, the, the SEC is claiming that uh, from an inception of XRP, it, it constituted uh, an unregistered secu security being sold. Um, so, did the SEC allow their employees to engage in this? Because they knew. Because, look, the SEC, they're, they're claiming that they knew the whole time that it, it uh, of course, was a security. And they're also claiming that Ripple knew. And so, you gotta ask, that's perfectly reasonable, what about their employees? You know, what, did, did they have any exposure to this unregistered security? And if so, why would an SEC employee engage in the purchase of of an unregistered security that probably wouldn't look too good for the sec would it so it's it's easy to understand why ripple uh, wants this information and surprise surprise the sec doesn't want to provide it and now uh, <laughs> ripple is demanding that the court take action on this um so <coughs> excuse me before i go any further i do want to be clear i don't have a legal or financial background of any kind I am not offering legal or financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos on crypto-related topics uh, just as a fun hobby, but that's all that's going on here. And so, you hear that? Yeah, that's right. I got some MF and dead trees up in my hands uh, because... Actually, I tell you what, this document, not as bad as uh, some of them, just in terms of length. This thing was only five pages, not including the exhibits. The exhibits are absolutely outrageous. I remember one time I printed, I think it was like supposed to be an eight-page document, and I didn't realize there were all these exhibits attached, and it ended up being like 150 pages. Like, I came back later, and I had like this huge stack. My, my little poor printer is like <laughs> working on overtime, man. And I was just like, ah, there's a panic to uh, stop the, 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 the print queue. But anyway, uh, in this case, not too terribly bad here. So I just went ahead and highlighted the parts that I found most interesting and relevant. We'll get you all caught up to speed on the, uh, the, the silliness that's going on here with the SEC. Dear Judge Netburn, uh, we write on behalf of defendants Ripple Labs, Inc., Bradley Garlinghouse, and Christian Larson, uh, together the defendants, uh, to request a local rule 37.2 conference regarding the SEC's refusal to produce certain information necessary to complete defendants' understanding of the SEC's trading policies governing digital assets and whether the SEC permitted its own employees to trade XRP. Oh, by the way, before I forget, uh, shout out to James K. Filan, an attorney within the XRP community uh, who has been providing all sorts of updates, and that's where um, I, I got this legal document also. I always want to give credit where it's due. But anyway, uh, they continue here. Specifically, defendants seek production of anonymized documents reflecting trading preclearance decisions with regard to XRP, Bitcoin, and Ether, or alternatively, for that information to be produced in aggregate form. Defendants also seek certifications concerning SEC employees' XRP holdings. Again, either with redactions of personal information or in aggregate form. We met and conferred with the SEC on this issue on July 8th, July 15th, August 18th, and August 25th without progress. Now, anybody listening here is not going to be surprised that the SEC doesn't want to give this information up because probably some of them, wouldn't you guess, some employees uh, did uh, at some point in time hold some XRP. Wouldn't you think that that's reasonable? Wouldn't you think that's perhaps like, I mean, what, nobody at the SEC was investing in crypto? Like... <laughs> And XRP was one of the most well-known, still is one of the most well-known cryptocurrencies out there. Uh, wouldn't be surprised in the least, and it wouldn't look good to them. And so, um, effectively, the, the SEC, what they argue in this document is that uh, this information is not relevant, and that could not be further from the truth, as I'm going to highlight. And they know that, too. Like, this is a poor argument, just a piss-poor argument. They don't care. These are not ethical pe people. Uh, they're not here to protect investors. They're not. They say they are, uh, but they're not. And uh, they just, they don't care. They just don't give a damn. Zero Fs given here. Uh, so anyway, this continues. Uh, in June 2021, this court granted defendants' motion to compel the SEC to produce its trading policies regarding digital assets. Your Honor found that defendants' requests met the threshold for relevance. Yes, I'll pause right there. You may remember, um, I, I remember covering that. And I even brought up this exact topic at that time. I was like, so... What do you think? Do you think that uh, any SEC employees may have ever at any point in time held some XRP? And why would they do that if it's so crystal clear working at the SEC that it's an unregistered security? Hmm. 
right? And so here, Ripple's now just, they're, they're gunning for it here. So uh, I won't be surprised in the least if the, uh, it gets, considering that, uh, you know, when it came to the, the June uh, 2021 request, that, that was granted. So I won't be surprised in the least if Ripple gets their way here too, but we'll see. Anyway, they continue. The SEC accordingly produced to defendants a January 16th, 2018 policy entitled Ethics Guidance Regarding Digital Assets that took effect on January 19th, 2018. Uh, and so then that's in, in this piece noted as the January 2018 policy. And so that policy shows that until January 19th, 2018, the SEC had not adopted or imposed any policy restricting SEC employees from trading in digital assets, which is consistent with the SEC not having viewed digital assets as securities. Well, how about that? Don't you think that if they'd known this from the beginning, maybe they would have made it clear before the calendar year of 2018? Might that have made sense, have some sort of policy on it? But of course not. For most of the last decade, the SEC was just ignoring this. It was just some little piddly asset class. They didn't even want to, they didn't want to take it on. They didn't want to handle it. And so, no, they, they, of, course, of course they didn't have a policy, which is why this whole lawsuit is absurd. One of many reasons this whole lawsuit is completely absurd. Uh, then they continue. At all times from... Uh, at all times from 2013 until at least January 19th, 2018, SEC employees were free to buy, sell, and hold XRP without any restriction by the SEC. <gasps> How about that? Oh, this is not a good time for the SEC. Uh, this evidence provides strong corroboration of the defendant's defenses in this case and undermines the SEC's claims. Specifically, the now acknowledged fact that the SEC itself did not restrict its own employees from selling or buying XRP, notwithstanding its long-standing regulation against its employees engaging in securities transactions without preclearance, uh, indicates that the SEC had not concluded prior to at least January 2018 that sales and offers of XRP were securities transactions. And this is true. I think to any unbiased individual just looking at these facts, it could not be more clear. This, of course, is the case. I just, I, I, man, SEC lawyers having a bad time. They've been having a bad time ever since December 22nd, 2020, which is the date that they filed this lawsuit, uh, because they weren't ready. <laughs> and I don't think they realized the degree uh, to which they were messing up. It's, it's just their, their positions, by and large, indefensible. And then they wrap up by stating, stating this. Um, our request is neither burdensome nor disproportionate, disproportionate to the needs of the case. The information sought should be readily available and appears to have already been reviewed by the SEC's counsel in the course of our meet and confer process. Defendants are entitled to know whether the SEC permitted its own employees to sell, buy, and hold XRP as market participants during the very period that the SEC now claims that defendants violated the law and acted recklessly by selling XRP. Defendants are entitled to know whether the SEC ever prohibited its employees from trading XRP and if, as the SEC has orally suggested, that occurred for the first time only in March 2019. Defendants are also entitled to know whether the SEC's approach to allowing employees to trade either uh, Ether or Bitcoin changed after William Hinneman's speech on June 14th, 2018, another issue that is highly relevant to this litigation. And so, again, even with me not having a legal background, just uh, just your lay person here taking in this information here, uh, it's, it's, it's clear that this is relevant. And so I, 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 not having a legal background, I don't know if there's some sort of legal reason that something like this would not ultimately be granted by the court, but just from a non-legal perspective, looking at the facts of what's being stated here, of course this makes sense. It makes all the sense in the world. So hopefully, uh, the, the court will uh, find that to also be the case and grant what Ripple is requesting because I'd love for them to have this information because I'd be willing to, to bet that it's not going to look good for the SEC because they are liars and they are unethical and they are not protecting investors as they promise that they are. But I'll go ahead and wrap up here. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon Lambo.